Hi, I'm Andre Bross with Innovate Digital Solutions. Put your hand in the air if you're concerned about all the things that your hands are touching these days. One thing that gets overlooked is the office equipment, and that's something you should be cleaning at least daily. In this little video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to clean your equipment properly. So here's what you're going to need to clean your equipment properly. A set of latex gloves, microfiber cloth, some isopropyl alcohol, 70% isopropyl alcohol, 30% water, and to finish off, to clean the glass, you're going to need a glass cleaner. Do not use abrasive chemicals or harsh solvents because that can damage the equipment. So I've got my gloves on and everything I need to clean the machine, so let me walk you through the proper steps. So I got my mixture of isopropyl alcohol, 70% alcohol, 30% water, my microfiber cloth, and we're going to show you how to clean each drawer. But we'll just show you the first one. Don't make it sopping wet, that's really important. Simply pull the drawer out and clean any area thoroughly that people's hands might touch. The next area you're going to want to clean is a document feeder. So the important thing is to make sure you haven't oversaturated your cloth. Clean the handle where you lift it up. The top of the document feeder where people would place their documents in. Pretty much anywhere people's hands would touch. But it's important to lift it up and also clean the glass. What you'll want to do is let that isopropyl alcohol evaporate. And once that's done, take your Windex and then clean the glass so you don't end up with streaks on your copies. Now for the place where your little fingers touch the most, the display. Make sure you don't oversaturate the cloth, otherwise it could cause problems with the buttons. Give a good clean wipe, but this is the area to be very careful of not to saturate and get any moisture inside those buttons. Just give it a good clean wipe and that should be all you need to do. Two last areas to clean is your bypass tray, And don't forget the on off button on your system. So when you're finished all the other procedures, give one last quick wipe of anywhere you think the fingers are going to be touching. I hope you found this quick video informational on how to keep your equipment clean from those little smudgy finger marks. If you have any more questions, reach out to Innovate Digital Solutions and we'll be happy to help. But one thing, please don't try to attempt the repairs of your equipment. Leave that to the professionals because we have factory trained technicians on every single unit. Any more questions? Contact Innovate Digital Solutions.